The Bible made us to understand that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord, the Lord, the Lord will deliver us from every one of these afflictions. I don't know what the issue might be. Probably you've been having series of nightmares. You can't sleep at night because you know that whenever you go to bed, you get attacked in your dream. Or it looks as if nothing is working out for you. There, there are situations surrounding your existence. Everything you put your hands on fails. There are a lot of things happening around your life that you cannot explain. And now we are here to take charge. Matthew 18 verse 18 says, Whatsoever we bound on earth is bound in heaven. Halafa. Whatsoever we lose on earth is lose in heaven. What this means is that we have been given the power to control the realm of the spirit. When we speak, when we speak, manifestations happen. When we decree a thing, the Bible says decree a thing that needs to be established. When we speak, there are great manifestations. And now we are going to be speaking. Don't be afraid. We are a praying spirit. So right now, I want you to open up your mouth and begin to speak to that situation. 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 It has lingered for so long. Remember what the Bible says. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Open up your mouth and speak to that devil. Speak to that devil. And and I decree that you are consumed by the blood of the Lamb. The Bible made us to understand in the book of Matthew 16, from verse 15 to the end, that God has given us power, authority. He has given us authority, authority. That we shall lay our hands on the sick and the sick will be healed. That we shall pick up deadly things and it will not hurt us. That we shall cast out devils. That's what the Bible made us to understand. So today I want you to open up your mouth and begin to cast out that devil. Begin to cast out that devil. It has stayed in you for so long. It has stopped you for so long. It's time to cast out that devil. It's time to cast out that devil. It's time to cast out that devil. Open up your mouth and cast out that devil. Open up your mouth and cast out that devil. Open up your mouth and cast out that devil. Open up your mouth and cast out that devil. Open up your mouth and cast out that sickness. Open up your mouth and cast out that nightmare. Open up your mouth and cast out that barrenness. Open up your mouth and cast out that sickness. Call the sickness by its name and begin to cast it out. I begin to cast it out. I begin to cast it out. I begin to cast it out. Call it by its name and cast it out. Cancer be gone in the name of Jesus. Hypertension be gone in the name of Jesus. I command you, standing on the office of the prophetic and the apostolic, I decree be gone in the name of Jesus. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Some of you are suffering from a sickness you know nothing about. 
Let me give you an example. I heard a testimony of somebody, somebody crying like that she was injected with HIV in her dreams. And when she went for a checkup, she found out that she had HIV in the physical. It's not because she did any nothing, any rubbish, but because Efeno Sobra, the devil from the pits of hell, rose up against her. And that was why that manifested. But now, Rampano Sufe, he has given us power over principalities and powers, rulers of darkness in high places. So I speak to that demon. I speak to that disease. I speak to that infection. I speak to that thing that does not represent God. I command you in the name of Jesus, leave that body right now. In the name of Jesus, leave that body right now. I command you, Eleke Faragada, standing on the road of the, of the prophetic, be gone in the name of Jesus. I command you, out in the name of Jesus. I command you, be gone in the name of Jesus. E Faragada, E Ramanusufa, I command you, be God in the name of Jesus. I want you to say this with me. I have been set free. The Bible says, Who the Son of Man has set free? He is free indeed. Indeed, all things are passed away. I open up my mouth and say it. I have been set free. Yes, yeah, say it. I have been set free. Eleke Faragada. Obidea 1 from verse 16 to wherever I stop. And it says, For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. For as he have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Amen. Yea, they shall drink and they shall follow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and they shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stumble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and they shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken. Verse 17 is my verse of emphasis. Upon Mount Zion, they shall be deliverance. Now we are going to be praying for deliverance upon you. There are a lot of persons here listening to me that are under one demonic attack. They are victims of addictions. They are obsessed to one or the other. They are under the attack of the enemy. And the Lord is saying to you, Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Now we are going to be calling for that deliverance. Deliverance from whatever, whatever that the enemy has thrown at you. Deliverance from the shackles of the enemy. Deliverance from the chains of destruction. Deliverance from the attack of the enemies. Open up your mouth and begin to speak in the language of the Holy Ghost. Open up your mouth and begin to speak in the language of the Holy Holy Ghost, as it is written upon Mount Zion, upon Mount Zion, upon Mount Zion, Ramafakate Nebalo Sovrade, Ranemafatale Gepelegede. He sent his word, and his word brought about deliverance. He sent his word, and his word brought about deliverance. Delivered as many that were oppressed. Ramafakoton de Pelegede, Elifa, Kariba no Frada Segede, Epelo Kufaraka Tenebalegede, Ramana. Fakotone, he sent his words, he sent his words, he sent his words, and his words brought about deliverance. In the name of Jesus, I decree your deliverance has come. I decree you are delivered from the shackles of the enemies. In the name of Jesus. I decree that you are delivered from the chains, the chains that have been holding you bound. In the name of Jesus, I command you today, be free in the name of Jesus. Be free, be free. I decree your freedom. I decree your freedom. I decree your freedom. Ramanu Fakade, who the Son of Man has set free, is free indeed. I decree be free, be free. 
be free be free from obsessions be free from addictions be free from pornography be free from masturbation be free from everything that doesn't represent God be free from fornications in the name of Jesus a study has shown that most of the persons that get involved in these things do not go into it deliberately there is a spirit that sponsors these addictions there's a spirit that pushes you to fornicate there's a spirit that pushes you to watch pornography there's a spirit that pushes you to do things that you're not supposed to do to steal people's things their spirits backing up these things and right now I decree la mana fagotombere e mana sufrede e nakapano sufrede e mata da 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 kupa in the name of Jesus I command you today be free in the name of Jesus I command you today be free ah be free from that obsession be free from that attack of the enemies be delivered in the name of Jesus I decree be free i decree be free i decree be free i command you in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus and i pray for you that whatsoever that is taking the place of god in your life is it your cell phone is it social media whatever that is taking the place of God in your life right now I deliver you from it 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 I decree be free right now I command you be free right now I command you be free right now standing on the road of the apostolic I decree in the name of Jesus your freedom has come I decree your freedom has come I decree decree, your freedom has come I decree break forth in the name of Jesus I command you break forth Every yoke, every obstacle, every limitation, all that you bound, I call the benefit of I decree, be free from it in the name of Jesus. There is someone listening to me that the devil has afflicted on you with something that has affected your self-esteem. He has afflicted this thing on you and it's affecting your self-esteem. You are so scared to go out because you know that if you go out, it will mess you up. It might be from the order that comes out from your body. I said, as I said earlier, there are spirits that sponsor these things. In the name of Jesus, I command that disease, I command that infirmity to leave your body right now. In the name of Jesus, I command it to leave your body right now. In the name of Jesus, I said be gone. I say be gone. I decree you are delivered completely. I decree be gone. I decree be gone. I decree lifts your body now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord has set you free. Yes, the Lord has set you free. The Lord has set you free. Begin to decree your freedom. The Lord has set you free. You can also put it in the comment section. And the Lord has set you free. Emana 
Our God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with the power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Our God, not you, our God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. And the Bible made us to understand that as he is, so are we in this world. So where you see Jesus of Nazareth, please, I would like you to replace it with your name. Our God anointed you, call your name. Our God anointed Gideon. Our God anointed Joshua. Our God anointed Sarah. Our God anointed Blessing. Our God anointed Michael. Our God anointed Sandra. Our God anointed David. Our God anointed Samson. Our God anointed you. Our God anointed you with Holy Ghost and with power. And you are going out to do good. Ale mafate. And God is with you. Now we are not praying for the anointing. For we know that the anointing upon our life is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the anointing upon our life. So we have received this anointing. For he has made his grace sufficient for us. We have received this anointing. Now we are going to be speaking into existence. The Bible says the spiritual realm controls the physical, but the man needs to arise to make intercession. To bring things. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatsoever we bind on earth is bound in heaven, and whatsoever we make loose on earth is made loose in heaven. Meaning we have the power to control the realms of the spirits. We have been given the power to determine what happens in the realms beyond whatever you bind. Now we are going to be praying. We are going to be decreeing that for whatever we do, that the Lord is with us. For whatever we do, the Lord is with us. For whatever we do, the Lord is with us. Even as we go out to preach the gospel, the Lord is with us. Even as we go out to lay our hands on the sick, the Lord is with us. Even as we go out to send demons back in, the Lord is with us. Open up your mouth and pray. Open up your mouth and pray. Open up your mouth and pray. Ranama fakoton lepe. Eka la katale feregede. Eka para dada. Roma fa. Decree that the Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. Eleke teleke delegede. Ela ma foko para kade. Eke te feregoto. E rima rakate felegede. E pa ne foko para kada. E ka de tofe. The Lord is with you. All you need is God by your side. The Bible says, If the Lord be for us, who can be against us? And Acts chapter 1 verse 8 read us to understand something really profound. And I love this with all my heart. He says, And he shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. When God comes upon you, what backs it up is power. And he shall receive power after the adults paracletos. Another like him, after the Spirit of God has come upon you, and he shall be witnesses. All you need for the power of God to walk with you is God being by your side. Ah, In the next few minutes, open up your mouth and decree that the Lord is by my side. The Lord is by my side. The Lord is by my side. If Father Parakada, if the Lord is by my side, and because the Lord is by your side, Rama Faleke Telegede, I decree that a thousand shall fall by your side. Hey, ten thousand by your right hand. A thousand shall fall by your side. Hey, Lakapafanekete, a thousand shall fall by your side. Decree the thousand shall fall by your side. Ten thousand by your right hand. A thousand shall fall by your side. Ronda Mafakata, a Kapafanon Sofa. A thousand shall fall by your side. A thousand shall fall by your side. A thousand shall fall by your side. 
Ten thousand shall fall by your side. Run a man for Koton Bada. Ten thousand by your right hand. Only with your eyes shall you behold the reward of the wicked. Ah, the Lord has made you the head and not the tail. He has made you above and not beneath. He has made you a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. I decree the Lord is by your side. The Lord is by your side. I'd like you to say this in the comment section. The Lord is by my side. Ele famanosh. The Lord is by my side. Because the Lord is by your side, I decree that trouble is gone. I decree affliction is gone. I decree tribulation is gone. I decree that the sickness of the Egyptian will not come near you in the name of Jesus. I decree be God. The Bible made us to understand that to suffer not the way to live. A lot of us, we are oppressed on different directions in our dreams. We are oppressed in our sleeps. We are oppressed when we go out. We are oppressed when we come in. There are a lot of things that do not represent God in our lives. There are a lot of things that do not represent God in our lives. Christ never intended for it to be so. The Bible says the arrow that flies by day, the pestilence that walketh in darkness, the evil that walks at night will not come close to us. The fact that all these things that are coming close to us means this is not the will of God. Because according to the scripture, this is not the will of God. So right now we're going to be speaking against, we're going to be speaking against the attack of witchcraft, every projection that has been made concerning you or over you. We're going to be speaking the word of God into that situation and decree that no longer shall it exist. We're going to be casting that spirit from the root and decree no longer shall it exist in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and pray in tongues. Open up your mouth and pray in tongues. Open up your mouth and pray in tongues. Open up your mouth and begin to rebuke these spirits. Open up your mouth and begin to rebuke these spirits. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says we shall cast out devils because that witch is a representative of the kingdom of hell. In the name of Jesus, we cast you out. Ramane fakatele pado, emane sivrada kapa, ronde befatele pelegede. We cast you out. In the name of Jesus, you witch, you devil from the pit of hell that has sworn an oath not to make the children of Messiah, the children of Yeshua, to rest, to be at peace. In the name of Jesus, in the road of the prophetic, I decree in the name of Jesus, get out now. In the name of Jesus, we command you to leave that body. We command you to leave this body. We command you to leave this body. In the name of Jesus, we command you to leave this body. In the name of Jesus, we command you to leave this body. In the name of Jesus. I decree that every attack against your family be gone in the name of Jesus. I call back that we watch out. I call back that we watch out. I call back that we watch out. Every attack against your business, we command you in the name of Jesus. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Every attack against your life, we command you be gone in the name of Jesus. There are a few of you listening to me under the sound of my voice. There is a pattern in your family. At a particular age or stage in your life, someone dies, meaning nobody crosses a particular age. The number I'm hearing in my spirit is 40. In your family, no one crosses 40. In the name of Jesus, I decree that pattern is broken. In the name of Jesus, I decree you will not just reach 40, you will exceed 40. In the name of Jesus, as it is written, I speak into your life, you shall not die. But leave to declare the works of the Lord. I cause that spirit behind untimely death to your family. In the name of Jesus. Also, there are few of you here in your family. No one has risen. No one has risen beyond a particular limit. Whenever anyone tries to rise, that spirit brings that person down. I don't care about what is the cause, who the cause of this issue is. All I know is that all power belongs to Jesus and I stand on the road of the prophetic and decree in the name of Jesus you are breaking the yoke of poverty in the name of Jesus you are breaking the yoke of poverty 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 in the name of Jesus I know of a woman, let me share this testimony with you. Our great grandmother died of cancer. Her mother died of cancer. The woman herself is dead, died of the same cancer. 
the same breast cancer and now she has daughters a lot of people are saying what will happen to these children see these things exist but i want to announce to you that there is a greater power there is a greater authority there is a greater power there is a greater name the bible says at the mention rama for cotone of the name of jesus every knee in heaven and on earth and underneath the earth will bow and every song shall confess that jesus is lord so i decree in the name of jesus I command you, if you, are, if you have such a situation in your family, I command that situation to live in the name of Jesus. The sicknesses that killed your father will not kill you. The sickness that killed your mother will not kill you. The afflictions that were on your parents will not come close to you in the name of Jesus. Also, and finally, there's also one other person listening to me you've lost your siblings all your siblings and you are the last man standing the idea behind this or what is sponsoring this is because there are a lot of persons trying to get involved in the wealth that was made available for your family in the name of jesus i speak into your life you shall not die i speak into your life you shall not die i speak into your life you shall not die you shall not die you shall not die i decree you will enter into to your wealthy place rejoicing in the name of Jesus I decree your experiences are glorious in the name of Jesus I decree your experiences are glorious in the name of Jesus thank you father for answering our prayers and I want you to say this with me I am free yes say it put it in the comment section I am free I am free in Jesus name amen